Hi everyone, my name is Lara. I am the Community Engagement Advisor on the Parts of Perth, East Perth and Victoria Park project. Um, given everything that's happening with uh, COVID-19 and the current situation, I can't come to any community meetings or meet with any of you face to face, so I'm coming to you this way. Um, I just wanted to put a face to the project and also give you a summary of why and what we're doing in your area. In regards to COVID-19, I wanted to assure you that Water Corporation continues to dedicate all necessary resources and management focus on the pandemic. At this point in time, we have a directive from the WA state that essential services and utilities are to continue and this project is an essential service and um, that's why it's still going ahead. Um, a little bit about myself. I have been at the Water Corporation for just over seven years. I have been on the Parts of Perth program for around two years. I am a WA regional native, but I've been living in Perth for a long time now. I live with my husband and our rescued greyhound, Jack. Uh, I love working for the Water Corporation. I'm really passionate about the work we do uh, to secure WA's water future and also to make it a good place for everyone to live, no matter who or where you are. A little about the Pipes of Perth program in general. The program proactively replaces um, aid and old and aging water pipes across the Perth metro area. We replace the pipes on an as needs priority basis and that is determined by looking at uh, the pipes age, condition, material, its surrounding environment, its event history as well as, as its criticality. Uh, so off that data we uh, pretty much work out a, a priority list of the pipes that need to be replaced and uh, so yes the pipes that have been replaced in East Perth and Vic Park have been identified as such pipes. The program's been running since 2016 and we've replaced um, over 220 kilometres of water pipe now. So it's a really big project uh, and a really important one as well. Um, just to give you an update on the East Perth and Vic Park project, uh, the latest news that I have for you is that work is scheduled to start on Rushton Street in Victoria Park on the week of 27th of April, so next week, towards the end of next week. We will then start in East Perth on Nile Street in the week of 4th of May, so the follow the week after that. Um, and we expect all work to be finished in July 2020. So, as you know, we're replacing six streets in East Perth and one street in um, Victoria Park. Those streets in East Perth are Nile Street, Constitution Street, Whitnoom Street, Waterloo Crescent, Arden Street and Hale Street. And in Victoria Park, it's Rushton Street. So that um, all together is around two kilometres of ageing water pipe that we're renewing. Actually, the pipes on Whittenoom Street and Waterloo Crescent are over 130 years old. So they're the oldest pipes that we've ever replaced on the project, um, which is pretty amazing that they're still um, doing such a good job. But, you know, like anything of that age, it's time to retire. So, yeah, so going in and um, retiring, the, retiring those old assets. We have appointed experienced Pipes of Perth contractor DM Civil to carry out this work with us. DM Civil have been working on the program um, since it began on various different projects, so they're really experienced and really capable uh, contractor to have on this work. Just to give you a bit of an update on where we are at the moment and kind of where we will be in the next couple of weeks. So over the last month, DM Civil have been carrying out what we call preliminary work. Part of that preliminary work is um, service locating, so that's kind of exactly what it sounds like. Service locating is the lo um, locating of underground services such as gas, electricity, telecommunications, other water and wastewater services. So we do that by using ground radars to pick up uh, where the services are and to make sure that they're the same as um, what, the, what the plans are saying, where, where the plans are saying they are. We also do small isolated excavations on the actual um, services to um, pretty much visibly verify that the services are exactly where the plans say they are. As part of preliminary work, we also do what we call um, 
ground surveys, which is basically um, surveying the ground underneath to see what's there. So is there concrete, shale, limestone, is there water, um, everything like that. It's also surveys to determine where the roads are, where the footpaths are, where um, tree roots are and things like that. So by locating and analysing all of these things, DM Civil are able to um, put together a design of the, pretty much the design of the work. So that means where the pipe is, um, you know, really technically going to go. So the pipe alignment and also what kind of construction method we're going to use. Um, so once those, the good thing about doing all this pre-planning work is that when we do go into construction, it means that we should have a no surprises approach, which means that there shouldn't be delays to the schedule um, due to reassessments of design or alignment or um, methodology or um, safety or quality issues. Um, so DM Civil, once they complete the complete the design, they send that to Water Corporation and our Water Corporation team then reviews it and, and approves it when they're happy with it. Um, just to give you an idea, DM Civil have currently finished the design of a few streets in East Perth, um, design of Rushton Street, and so there with Water Corporation now being reviewed, and then they'll continue doing the preliminary work on, on the other streets. So currently some streets with us to um, review the design, and um, DM Civil are carrying on with the preliminary work on some of the other streets. Um, so the good news at this stage is that the preliminary work is telling us that we should be able to replace these pipes using underground methods. Uh, so by underground methods, I mean what we call horizontal directional drilling, which is basically where they um, drill the ground, drill the pipe underground. So they push it down and then they drill it across. So they kind of need an entry point and an, and an exit point. Um, we also do what we call um, a slip lining. So that's where you put in a, a smaller new pipe inside the old pipe. Uh, so they're the, they're the two underground methods that we're going to be using. There's links to those um, with videos showing kind of how they work and a little bit more about, about those in the PowerPoint presentation. The really good thing about that is if we can indeed do all this work um, using underground methods is that we're going to have uh, decreased uh, open excavation and um, long lines of construction fencing. So it really does decrease the impact on the customers as well as um, traffic in the area and everything like that. Although to say um, underground methods do still require some isolated excavation for example, where we actually need to connect the new pipe to the um, existing water network, um, we actually need to open up the ground and you know physically connect that in and make sure it's all working. When we're also drilling, we need to obviously have an entry point and an exit point for the pipe. Um, but generally, it's a lot less um, fencing, it's a lot less um, construct construction timing is also a little bit better. So it's really good news. Um, as well as replacing the pipe along the street, we're also replacing what we call the property service pipe. So that's the pipe that comes off the street and takes water to your house or property. So that pipe is actually connected um, at the water meter to your internal pipes. So, um, so from the water meter to the road, that's um, the property service pipe and we'll also be replacing that pipe. Um, so how we do that and all the... Um, and all the impacts and that will also be included in the PowerPoint presentation and in the notifications um, that you will get sent out. Just to give you an idea, DM Civil uh, replaced around 200 metres of water pipes. That's including all connections, all testing, commissioning, backfilling, everything. Um, they do 200 metres in in about four weeks. So it's 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 pretty quick, and um, it kind of moves down it moves down the road, so you won't be impacted for that whole period of time. Um, just to give you an idea of some of the impacts that you can expect, obviously when construction is on your street, you will notice an increase in personnel in the area. There will also be an increase in, um, in noise, dust and vibrations. Um, you may be temporarily impacted by driveway restriction. They usually last a day, um, sometimes two. With those, we'll give you 24 hours notice. Um, and we also, so you can get your car out if you want, but we can also do, um, temporary uh, access to your driveway. So if you just give us a call, we can organize for a, um, 
for a panel to be put over the work and you can get in and out. Uh, other impacts you can expect will be water supply interruption. So we will have short-term water supply interruptions of, a, of um, no more than an hour. We will give you notice 48 hours in advance. We will also um, we can also offer you a temporary water supply solution if you do require water. Um, if you're a sensitive customer or business or something like that, we can um, sort that out for you. We can also supply bottled water and everything like that. So with the notification that you get 48 hours in advance, um, that will explain all of that to you and tell you who to call to organise all that kind of thing. But um, yeah, we will also give you notification at least one week in advance of any work taking place on your street. That will include all the numbers to call, all this information I've been telling you, but in much more detail. Um, and we'll also email that if you have an email on your account with us. So, uh, and DMC will also let it drop a lot of notifications and updates to your uh, mailbox. So please uh, keep an eye on that. But um, yeah, I think that's, that's it from me. Uh, thank you for listening to me. I hopefully will be in touch this way throughout the project. Um, but definitely we'll be in touch via notifications and emails and things like that. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to call me my or email me. My details are on the presentation. Uh, Darren, the project manager from Dean Civil, um, is also there. Um, so anything that you need, you can also give him a call on his mobile to fix every, um, anything up. So, yes, um, stay safe, everyone, and I will speak to you soon. Thanks. Bye.